in Visme, you can convert any object to a button. You can actually uh, give links to any object, any shape, text, and so on. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you how you can take a simple text and make it to a button that looks just like this. And uh, it will be fully uh, functional as a link. So for example, when I click on this, it goes to its own URL. So here's how this is done. I have a text piece here, so I'm going to go ahead and move this text up here. I'm going to try to create this button for you, just a matter of a minute. So this is my text, and I have all my text controls here. But there's this option here for the block, so that you can actually manage the block, this whole shaded area inside the text. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a fill color. So when I do that, it just made the whole uh, block a different color. And right here, if you look at it, the alignment is off. So I'll go ahead and make this text center inside the block. Okay. And now it doesn't, I mean, it feels like a button, doesn't really feel like it. it. It's a text box with color on it. It doesn't really feel like a button there. So why is that? There's a couple of things you can do. One is I'll go back to the settings and I will turn on the border and I will give it a very subtle one pixel border. It's already by default one pixel. And I will make it white so there's a big contrast because if my background is black, I will give it some contrast. And so it will look something like this. But there's a little bit of a curve around this one. I wanna go ahead and give it a tiny bit of curve. So I'll click on the option again, go to the roundness, and just a little bit, two, three, maybe four pixels of roundness, uh, maybe a little bit more. You can also just click on here and just enter a value, such as 5. So if you notice, I now have uh, a kind of a curved state for the button. But it still doesn't look exactly like that, right? So how can I do that? Um, you can have, you have control over the vertical height and also I want to put a shape on the left. So I'm going to go here back to the effect settings and I can add some vertical padding. And control that a little bit. I can also do some uh, horizontal padding, okay. And all I need to do is just to stretch it a little bit to get it back to where it was. And also, I want to put an object on the left. So what I will do is I will go to the justification, justify to the right, and there it is. And now all I need to do is add an icon over it. And I've already have this icon before that I've used in a project, so I'll just go ahead and click on this. I will size it down, move it over the object, and I could then just go ahead and apply color. So I'll go to the top left. I have two colors I can choose from. I will make the black a light color, and even the pink inside of it, I could actually do transparent if I want to, uh, or I could give it a shade if I like. And there it is. And now what I can do is give my whole um, object a link. So I'll click on it, and I will go to the top right here, click on the chain icon, and in this case I wanted to go to a website. Let's just have it go to our own site. Opening a new window, apply it. And now if I preview this and I click on the button, then the link will be functional and it will go to any site that I want that I entered. So register for trial, click, takes me to the page that I want the users to go to. You can all, of course also use the same button and go to uh, the link and then also link to a slide if you want to. So you could tell it to go to another slide on click. Uh, we have other topics for videos that really covers in detail the links, the pop-ups of web so you can refer to those. So very simple, this is how you can create links. And last but not least, you can of course, any object that you have, just click on it and go apply a link as well. Uh, but the purpose of this tutorial was to show you how you can actually take a very simple text and convert it to an actual functional button. Thank you.